I'm going to compare a couple shovels manufactured by Predator Tools here. I have the Model 24, the Phoenix, and I have Model 74, the Brute. Both these shovels are manufactured with aircraft-grade tempered 4130 chromoly steel. High durability, high strength, non-abrasive, non-corrosive. It's not going to rust, not going to bend, not going to break, and it's lightweight for being steel. Um, comparing it to stainless steel shovels that I've used in the past or stainless steel hand diggers, they're just no comparison, right? These are heat-treated tempered steel, so um, it, it, they're about the same composition of metals um, in them as stainless steel, as some stainless steels, but these are just heat-treated, so a little bit different process um, with these um, these uh, different metals here. So this is aircraft grade here, it's lightweight, durable. Um, I've had this shovel here for many years, uh, over four years, and haven't had any problems with it. Um, so I'm going to pop some plugs here, and we're going to analyze how easy it is to pop the plugs. Um, and we're going to look at the shape of the shovel, and we're going to look at the holes, um, how clean of plugs they make, and the cone-shaped plug. So both these shovel ha shovels have the same parabolic curve to them. It's like a... a it's like a, a double curvature, you know, it's shaped this way and it's also shaped that way. But this um, Phoenix shovel has a lip on it and it goes a lot further down here. The Phoenix shovel has a graduated to a point and that really helps out making those perfect cone shaped plugs that I show you in my videos. I have five, over 5,000 videos with this shovel in it, Pro probably right around 5,000 videos. So this shovel is square. Look at it square here. It still has that that um, parabolic shape to it, but it's square, right? Um, so you're kind of committed to making at least a six inch round plug there. And it's kind of flat on the tip here. So um, I've had some struggles with it in my soil the last um, hour or so. I've been using it a little bit here and there. Um, but I, I hunt in clay and it's dense clay. And I want to make those cone shaped plugs. So I'm gonna pop some holes here. I'm gonna pop some plugs here. I'll use the Phoenix first here. Five stabs in it, right? You just pop it right out there. Look at that nice cone shape there. It's a little bit off there. The soil's kind of mushy today. But this beautiful cone shape, look at how easy that came out of the ground. I didn't have to work at it, right? Because it came to a tip there, almost a tip there, right? I'll dig another one here. I'll dig another hole right here. Look how perfect it's gonna be right there. See that? It comes out with ease. I don't have to pry on the, on the edge because the only earth that's connected here is right there's a little patch that I just didn't quite get right there. See that? And watch the Phoenix here too. Since it has a graduated tip on here to a point, I can dig a smaller hole too. So if I wanna dig a, a small hole, a three inch hole right here a three inch round hole right here look at that perfect perfect shape there right a smaller hole i'll try to do the same with this see this comes to a blunt tip here so uh, you can just see here how, what's going to happen here It wants to go forward on me, right? It really wants to go forward on me. With the Phoenix shovel, it wants to pull back on you and it wants to form that sh that cone shape just naturally, just by the shape of that shovel. See it? Watch. Look at the ground moving right here. See this? Not good. If I'm compressing this soil right here, I'm gonna have a big gap right there. See, I'm compacting this oil. Look at this. See this? See that? I have to rip this plug out of the ground because because it's flat on the bottom, right? Look at all the earth still connected here on this plug here, right? Now I'll put this back in there. Look at this big gap right there. Big gap. 
right? No bueno, no bueno. Can't be doing that to the ground, right? I'll try another one here. It wants to pull forward. Even though it has the shape to it, it just wants to pull forward. I don't know um, if you guys are really seeing that. See, I'll try, try this again here. Do this. The ground is moving. All this ground is moving because I'm having to, I'm having to pry on that. See that square? See it's square right there. I can't have that. So to pre prevent that from happening, I can go at an angle here. But see, when I'm when I'm having to go at an angle here, I'm having to stand further away from the plug there, and I'm having to make a bigger circle. So I'm having to walk more to make this plug here, right? See? That one was better, but it's still kind of messy here, right? It's still cut a little bit messy there, right? And also too, this one, this shovel, I'm kind of committed to making at least a six inch round plug here because the tip of the shovel is pretty much six inches. Look at the tip of the shovel. I can make a three inch round plug there perfectly, right? I'll make a smaller plug here. Try to make a smaller plug here. Oh boy. A little bit messy there. I can try it again here. Just gotta get used to it. But see what I'm saying here? So to make a three inch round plug here, I can't, or a three inch deep plug, that plug is gonna be three inches deep and six inches wide. If I wanted to make a three inch deep plug here, it would be three inches wide and three inches deep. So it makes a perfect cone, right? I'm not making a huge plug for a shallow hole. See that? Try another one here. Now watch. I'll try to go as deep as I can here with this shovel. Deep as I can. Nice and clean plug here. I try to make it clean. All right there, see I'm already, already prying on the soil there. See that? See it? I'm having to really reef on it a lot. And I'm, I'm having to go down a lot on it, right? Look at how far I'm having to go down to get that out of the ground, all right? Because it's square on the bottom. Here it's square on the bottom. See that? See the gap in the soil right there? Not good, man. Not good. Just takes me longer to clean up my mass here. Watch the Phoenix. Watch this. See, this, the Phoenix just wants to go down like that. It wants to pull up towards me. Make a nice clean plug here. Right. That perfect cone right there. I made a little bit of a mess there. What's that? Some plastic there. I'll put that plastic in my bag. Made a little bit of a mess there, but that's fine. Do another one here. I'll dig a really big plug here. A large plug. A 10 inch plug here. Look at that, perfect. See that? Round circle, like that. Nice and clean, it didn't break apart on me because there's not very much soil connected to the earth still, even with this plug here. Oh my gosh, look at this iron here. Jeez, the iron here is just crazier. Just a lot of iron here. <laughs> that was just a, the random iron. I don't have my detector turned on. <laughs> you know, I believe this this shovel will work good like in sandy or loamy soil where um, it's gonna be a mess no matter what. But in my clay here, I have to have, that, that, that plug has to come out clean and I can't make a mess. Um, and with this shovel here, I can dig small holes, deep holes, shallow holes. Um, you know, it, it's very versatile to where this 
shovel here, um, you're basically committed on making at least a six inch round plug. With this shovel here, I can make smaller holes if I want to, you know. And also too, they have another shovel called the Hercules, um, with the same with the same spade here as as the Brute, but it has a D handle, and I prefer D handles because you can you can carry something in your hand, right, and carry your shovel at the same time, you know. And also with the D handle shovels, I have a lot more control. So look at look at how much control I have over this shovel here. I can move it around, right and left, up and down, right. I have lots of control over it because my fingers are all bunched together and I have a strong grip around this right here, right? So with this shovel here, look at this, the T-handle, I, I, I just can't control the shovel, right? I can't, I can't grip hard enough because a lot of my grip is used, a lot of the strength in my grip is used with this shaft right here in between my fingers here. And I don't want to have my, um, my, my wrist or my um, forearm offset to the shovel here because it makes it, it gives you less control over that shovel. I'm really having to fight the shovel if my hand is off the side here. Um, with it right in the center, your forearm going directly down the line of that shaft there, you have so much control over that shovel. See this? I have a strong grip on it too because my, my, my fingers are not spread apart and, and my grip is not interfering. Um, that shaft is not interfering with my grip. See this right here? And also when I'm moving my, cause I wanna, I wanna control my shovel. When I'm going around a circle here, I wanna control my shovel. Be precision, you know, precision cuts. And when I have this shaft right in the center of my fingers there, I just don't have a good enough grip to, to really control the shovel as much as I want to. See, watch this. It wants to pull forward. With this, with the shovel, it just wants to just go, just naturally form a cone in the ground there. That's what we want. We want, I want a cone. So it makes clean plugs. And I want to I want to know how deep that target is by my metal detector, and I want to dig the right size of hole. I don't want to dig a humongous hole for a shallow um, target, which this shovel is going to, you're basically committed to having a six inch, at least a six inch round plug, um, because it's, it's blunt on the end. And um, it's a little bit harder to get in the ground there because there's not shark's teeth um, on both sides. You know, that, that doesn't have a lot to do with it. But I think just the shape of it um, has the most to do with it. I love this Phoenix shovel, man. No other shovel has compared to this shovel here. Just crazy. There's, there are certain tools that you want to use like in sandy soil or in rocky soil or in clay or in hard ground or in... Um, in the river banks and it's the shape of the shovel you know I, I don't, I don't want to use um, this shovel in really rocky ground because um, I could I have other shovels that are work much better I don't want to use this one out in the farm field because it doesn't have doesn't have a big enough scoop and I also don't want to use um, a really narrow shovel in the farm fields because I, it's, it's not a very good scoop with this um, shovel um, it would work good in sandy soil. I believe it would work really a lot better in sandy soil. So if you're working in clay, this shovel is probably not going to work very good for you. Um, it's going to be really hard to make clean plugs compared to the Phoenix shovel. Well, thank you for watching.